Hey everybody, asking questions. So I've been thinking about asking questions and uh, what it means to ask a good question. Uh, one of the things that I'm, I'm seeing a lot lately um, with everything that's going on with COVID and people being anti-maskers is these sort of gotcha questions that seemingly have no answer. Uh, case in point, the CDC is saying that wearing a mask, wearing a cloth mask will protect us from COVID, but it won't protect us from the smoke particles. And the smoke particles are actually uh, smaller than the COVID particles. So why would it protect us? All right. I should say the other way around, the smoke particles are bigger than the COVID particles. So why would the COVID particles be protected from the mask, but the smoke isn't? And it's sort of posited in this way that like, there's no answer. And instead, it's a, it's, it's, it's a Facebook post with, with uh, a, a line of people commenting who already, um, agree with the with the implication that it's it's bogus right there's no there's no actual merit to wearing the mask because look at this inconsistency here between the particles of covid and the particles of smoke now of course there is a there is an explanation to this and and uh, in in the particular case that I'm talking about this person seems to think that people just labeled him a whack job for asking the question. I don't think that's the case. Uh, I don't think that it's, it makes you stupid or a whack job to ask that question. I think it's good to ask questions, uh, as I always say, you question the consensus, right? So no, it doesn't make you stupid to ask a question like that. Where, where it's problematic is when you are failing to seek the answer from the right sources. If you're just asking a question as a sort of a rhetorical thought experiment, you're not actually taking steps to educate yourself. And instead, you're actually just taking that inherent bias that you already have and, and, and just reinforcing it. Because you're feeding your question to your, to your base, in a sense. You're, you're feeding it to your own inner circle of like-minded people. And you're not challenging yourselves to actually go out there and find the answer that is there. I know what the answer is. Uh, I actually, in my, my interview with Davide from a few weeks ago, uh, my, my Italian medical expertise friend uh, who is, is studying medicine in Italy and very thoroughly explained uh, what's going on with COVID and I actually asked him that specific question about wearing the masks and where it, where it relates to protecting yourself versus protecting others from you. So I don't necessarily need to rehash that whole thing. You can definitely go check out that video if you like. Don't have to check out my video though. There's plenty of sources out there that will thoroughly explain uh, any questions you might have. Uh, I can just say that uh, the the issue with a mask is that it actually does not protect you from COVID. I'm talking a cloth mask. N95 is different, but a, a cloth mask does not protect you from COVID and it does not protect you from smoke particles. So there's really not an inconsistency there. Uh, what it does is it protects others from you, from what you're exhaling. And again, as my good friend Davide explained uh, better than I can. Essentially, it has to do with the projectile and uh, the gravity itself of the particles. So smoke is lighter than air. This is why you are supposed to go down low to the ground if, if you're in a fire, because the smoke being lighter than air will float. The particles that come from COVID they only can stay airborne for about three to four feet before they sink to the ground. This is why six feet social distancing is the recommendation if you're not wearing a mask. 
So in a nutshell, that's, that's basically the difference. The mask is containing what you're breathing out, the droplets that carry the virus. And while they will still come out uh, because it's not, uh, not sealed, but it's inhibiting it to the degree that it's going to go to the ground uh, relatively quickly, uh, e even quicker than if you weren't wearing one, obviously, which in which, in which case is what necessitates the six feet distance. So I say all that to say, don't just stop at a Facebook meme. Uh, ask your questions. It's a, it's a great question, okay? Don't get me wrong. It doesn't make you stupid to ask, hey, why should I have to wear a mask? I'm not, I'm not feeling sick. Or why should I wear a mask if it doesn't protect me from smoke? You know, it's good. Ask those questions. I, I really do think that's important. But don't stop at the question. Find the answer because there is an answer. And, and, and uh, I, I, I just get, uh, I get concerned at the lack of humility uh, by people who ask questions like this and then just can't be bothered to search for the answer. It, it, it comes off as, frankly, arrogant that you think somehow that you've come up with uh, some kind of uh, quandary, some kind of uh, incredible question that the scientific community just hasn't even hasn't even thought of, let alone answered, uh, to, to think that you could come up with something that they hadn't thought of yet uh, is, is really kind of, uh, <laughs> I mean, it's pretty naive. Uh, but um, just something to think about. Ask the questions, definitely ask the questions, but ask them of the right people. And uh, if, if, uh, if an answer doesn't satisfy you, doesn't, doesn't fit, then keep pressing the issue. Ask the, ask the questions and seek out the information yourself. It's, it's what it's all about for me. That's what questioning the consensus is all about. Seeking the answers, seeking the truth, finding the information for yourself. Thanks a lot. I will be talking with you all again very soon. Have a great rest of your day. And remember, don't be afraid to question.